Hi, um, this is Sue Wasn from the High School Nurses Office, and this is the new and improved Bloodborne Pathogen online training for the Little Falls School District. Here are some reminders prior to taking your Bloodborne Pathogen quiz. Number one, where's your crisis kit? Is it fully stocked, including the class roster for this year? If you need any additional supplies to restock it, please stop in your nurse's office and you can get what you need from there. If you do not have vinyl gloves, um, that is going to be also replenished in the nurse's office. Those are um, gloves that you have in a convenient place that you use in the event of an emergency. Red biohazard bags, which are also used um, for saturated cloths, um, tissues, whatever, um, from an injury or an emergency, um, are available in the nurse's office and the custodial office. Remember that the biohazard bags don't need to be used all the time, only for something that's dripping and saturated with blood. Everything else can go into your plastic lined garbage can. Take some time to renew the hand washing posters in the washrooms. Remember, hand washing does not include just dipping your hands in the water and wiping them. Um, it involves soap and water and some friction for approximately 20 minutes. Also remember that universal precautions means you never touch anything without a barrier in place that might potentially have blood in it. Hand washing and universal precautions aren't um, just for bloodborne pathogens, but they are also great um, ways for you to reduce your um, risk of contracting um, viruses, colds, um, sore throats, strep throats in our school districts. So remember how important hand washing is. If you are exposed um, during the school hours, um, unexpectedly we, expect, we would like you to report that to your building nurse as soon as possible. We'll make some accommodations for you, have you fill out some um, exposure forms and get you down to St. Gabe's Hospital for follow-up as soon as possible. If you are a, build a district employee who's working after school hours on something that is um, connected to the school, whether you're a coach or you're working on plays or whatever, and there is an exposure, you can report that to St. Gabriel's Hospital also. Um, um, identify yourself as a district employee and they will take care of post-exposure follow-up for you. This should be done as quickly as possible, hopefully within 24 to 48 hours for you to get the maximum protection from the, um, the follow-up. Remember to, um, that we teach and encourage students self-care to minimize your exposure potential. If students have been injured, um, and you don't have available barriers in place to protect yourself against your blood. Remember that students can do a lot of the self-care themselves um, and you can give them support and encouragement while you um, take them to the nurse's office or take them someplace where you can have um, gloves available to yourself and minimize your exposure. Remember that blood-stained student clothing is contaminated. Um, Anything that has blood on it, whether it's from a nosebleed, um, from an altercation, um, from some, you know, any kind of a wound that needs to be changed out, you can get um, additional clothing in the nurse's office many times. Please take and bag up the student clothing and send it home for laundering. And now, your bloodborne pathogen quiz. Please follow the directions, um, submit it when you're finished and have a great school year. Thanks for your time.